Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, I just got a beta access to LabForge, and I, I figured I'll do, do a really quick um, run of what this actually looks like. So LabForge has been developing this um, this system where you get to program your own control code, uh, run it to stabilize a ball and beam, beam system, which is a typical mechatronics uh, kind of a course assignment kind of a thing. Um, yeah, and, and you get to like choose your PID parameters and you can probably like change the rest of the code as well, um, it looks like. So this is the code that they have um, on their website. And essentially what you can do is um, it compiles for you and then it actually runs runs the code on the actual hardware um, without you actually having uh, to be there. So I heard that this is being used for university unification in Singapore, so I figured that's actually pretty cool. And um, yeah, I was just like taking a look at the the file here. So this is just a typical C file. Um, it's got some in it initialization routine functions, um, but I didn't even bother to take a look at the whole thing. <laughs> I'm guessing they do. They know what they're doing. Um, the only thing that I look for is where are the PID parameters? What do I want to do with them? Um, so yeah, I, I just ran it at uh, 10. Uh, 10 for my, my initial gain, and then 1 and, and 100 for the, uh, the PID other gains. And this is what it actually looks like. Um, so this is a recording because it, it recorded for me just a few minutes ago. Um, and this is what the data seems to look like. So you, you can see that um, the position of the ball is actually represented here as well. So the goal of this assignment typically is that you want to stabilize the goal, that ball so that it is staying at a particular level as fast as you can, but with the minimum amount of error, error possible. So um, just to kind of show you, let's kind of like make it at a walk. So a huge load of K and give it a run. And uh, you should be able to see. So this is, this is where they're actually running the code that is here that I can modify. Um, at home in Vancouver, and they're sh they're going to be demonstrating it live. Oh, what's going on here? Never mind. Okay, um, <laughs> in their real system in Kitchener, uh, I believe. So, yeah, there you go. So this is an actual system that's really cool. Um, I love the Obi Wan in the background as well. <laughs> so you can see that it it does look look like it's unstable, which is um, uh, well, not as stable anyway, so it, it, this is what it's supposed to look like, and if you give it a run again, it's probably going to look different, because um, real systems are never that clean <laughs> compared to like an actual uh, simulated system. So let's take a look at one more time what this not-so-stable data looks like. Yeah, so look at that. So uh, you can see that the ball is not as stable, so it, it has a lot of overshoot going on there, and it is definitely reflect on the, this um, data that you see here. And it uh, looks like you can download the data, uh, which would be awesome for um, students in remote locations who are just trying to test out their data and they want to build a cool controller and then test it out uh, as part of their, you know, uh, learning their controls portion of their engineering education. So I think that's pretty cool, especially for for remote education to um, places like Singapore and uh, possibly other kind of developing countries as well. So 